one more. Do you, is it BB or Bebe? so people can see all of the things that are relatable to in schools, things that kids go through, and I think it's just good, it's a good refresher. Pink, fun, and loving. This cast is so strong, they're so great, and the weird thing is they kind of all, the movie's been around like their whole life, and so we, you know, go to like talk about, okay, this scene, you know, here's what's happening, and they're all like, we know. We know what's happening, like you know, it's, um, and yet they all were really able to make these parts their own, and and yeah, and, you know, I was so comforted if I was going to go back, and I was so comforted to have Tim Meadows with me. Like we'll we'll go back together. We did the Broadway musical uh, on stage, to great success, and we ran. The only thing that stopped us running was the pandemic. We closed during the pandemic. Yeah, look at Jackals, and so you know, the songs that came from from the stage to the movie are the sort of tent pole songs and then we have people like Chuck Well, like Renee Rapp, like Ali Carvalho who just 
just murder them vocally. They're just incredible singers. I think you want to see it with people. That's always good for comedy, and it's good for what feels like a, a concert as well. So yeah, people should come in a group. What they've done is created this kind of world, and it's very exciting, especially for young people. Um, obviously, the, the musical has been such a hit in, on the road, and, and, and with high schools performing it and everything. So it's become this sort of legacy, and it's really nice to be a part of it. It's always nice to be asked to, to do something fun and funny, especially when you know you're in such good hands, like like with Tina and Jeff. And uh, I, I knew I knew from the start that they had a pretty good idea of it, and I was able to look at what they did in the play. And you know, it was it was fun to be to be asked to be part part of the whole the whole thing. So I did what I could. Hope people like it. I love the 2004 film. I was such a huge fan of the musical when it was on Broadway. I saw it so many times with my girls. Um, and so this was really kind of a dream come true for me. It is a feast for the eyes. I think it's unlike anything you might be expecting it is. Um, and I just, I think it's delightful. I was so floored by how fantastic it was. Funny, smart, um, incredible entertainment, the choreography. I mean, it's incredible. This movie is so fun and so funny for grown-ups too. You know what I mean? Like for everybody. It's like all ages. The message that Tina's always had in this movie is so important. I mean, it was important 20 years ago. Oh my God, it was 20 years yeah. ago, which is crazy. And it's important now, which is just that young women should support each other, you know? And I mean, that message is so unbelievably important. So if we can, we can wrap it in a way that makes it feel relevant to teens today, then, then that's uh, what we were really excited about. The cast, I mean, they immediately gelled. It was so cool to see all of them become friends. And I think everybody created a safe space for each other to explore. So I think it was a, a really, it was, it was a really fun experience. A story that has become as timeless and classical as Mean Girls has become. I mean, it's become sort of the comedy of many generations. Aaron represents sort of the good boys out there. I think he's a good person. I think he's trying to be good to people. Um, I think he's somewhat of like a floater in some ways. Like he gets along with a lot of people. I am so excited to see this film also in theaters with a lot of other people. I watched it by my lonesome and I'm excited to hear people laugh and cry out in the same way that I did when I first watched the film. <laughs> Janice is really a character who would rather sit alone at the lunch table than try to fit in with the plastics or any other clique for that matter. And she has this incredible song, I'd Rather Be Me, that I think everyone can relate to in a bit. Like, who would we be if we didn't have to worry what people thought of us, right? Like, I took that to heart, and I think a lot of audience members will too. This is the first time for many of us learning choreography, memorizing lyrics, lip syncing, singing live. It's it was a, a labor of love, but I'm so proud of my fellow cast, and luckily none of us are mean girls, so it was really lovely working with this entire group of talented men and women. Karen is really reflective of, of the positive qualities of like humanity to be able to retain some of their goodness despite being in the presence of something that may be considered the opposite. Um, but you know, I think she's really, really special, and, and, I, and I hope everyone relates to kind of her charming attitude or sweetness in some sort of way. It's a peak of nostalgia, you know, it's it's your it's one of your favorite movies done in a musical with with a younger, more modern cast. But I think especially for the newer generation, we have so much diversity in this cast and I think it really does embrace the like timeless themes of mean girls in a modern context and I think that that's really, really special. The importance of being yourself and not trying to fit in is still um, very important now, you know? Like, bullying isn't cute, bullying isn't cute, um, and it's better to be yourself than trying to fit in and be somebody else, you know? Damien's like the bestie, he's the loyal friend that we all know and love. He'll fight for you and then he'll hug you after. He'll cuss you out and then he'll give you a kiss on the cheek, you know? Like, he's the friend that you need when, you know, you're up, when you're down. I hope they take away the beautiful message that Tina intended, um, and I hope that they take away the beauty of 
uh, musicals and movie musicals and how fun they can be. Yeah. The fact that it's so bright, it's so fun, it's so glittery, it's so shiny, and I think we need that now. It's so exciting and there's also a lot of pressure, so I wanted to do right by the fans, but also, you know, I'm a fan myself, so it was important for me to make it good. So a lot of pressure, but I hope people love what we've done with the movie. I hope audiences are entertained, I hope they laugh, I think it's really funny. I also hope it leaves them with a, a great message about staying true to your morals and um, that's kind of the most important thing. Mean Girls in Three Words is fun, flirty and pink. Mean Girls, you have to see it in the cinema just to appreciate every single bit of detail that went into creating this movie. I'm talking costumes, hair, makeup, set design, choreography. It's designed to be seen on a big screen. I think Katie's relatable because she's the new girl. We've all been the new kid at some point, whether that's in school or at a new job or just trying something new. So I think that's what makes her relatable. It very much contains the same sort of core and message of the original film, just maybe a little bit more, more updated to 2024. My name is Kyle Hanagami and I'm the choreographer for Mean Girls Musical. I was told that the directors uh, had put me in their original pitch for the movie. Um, I had never met Art and Sam before. Um, but they said that they had been fans of my work for a very long time. And so I met with them and the producers and Tina and Jeff and people at Paramount and uh, they brought me onto the project. It's, I mean, it's Mean Girls. Like I was so excited to be a part of this one. Mean Girls is definitely a cult classic. Like it's just, it was kind of the first of its kind to speak to a new generation and so in creating this movie, we're kind of keeping that in mind and making sure that we aren't trying to remake the old one. We are trying to create something that speaks to a whole new generation that can be appreciated by both the new generation and the original fans of Mean Girls. It's been equally creative and choreography because I feel like when most people think choreographer, all they think are dance moves. And there's so much creative and planning that goes behind, goes on behind the scenes. Renee Rapp is a superstar. She is so awesome to work with. She is such a professional. She is, uh, she gives it everything that she has and she's such a great actress as well. When I was approached about this movie, I was very apprehensive because I was like, it's Mean Girls. Like, how do you touch Mean Girls? It's iconic, like, and, after I read the script, I was sold because what really hit me was like, I'm such a fan of the original that it felt like I was getting to watch an alternate universe's like version of it where it's like the jokes are different and there's now music and it's played by different people who have different delivery. And so if you go in trying to compare this to the original, it's just, it's kind of apples and oranges. Like this is its own thing and it's its own comedy and it's its own tone and character plots and story developments and all of these things that just are different. Social media is a big part of it and as it is a big part of high school. So, um, and I think Tina did a really good job on that. And the music gives it a whole other edge too. Uh, but the characters, remain what they were. You know, Regina's Regina and uh, and Katie's Katie and uh, the rest kind of uh, fall in, but they're, they're interpreted differently. So they're, they're, cause it's another time. The look of the kids was completely different and the generational thing was completely different and obviously way more diverse and, and it, it, it had to look like today. And I think the directors did a great job on that because it does. Well, I've known her a long time, and we, you know, uh, obviously we did this movie together, and I think uh, we've done a couple of other movies together. So uh, we were together, I don't know how many years it is now, but it is, it's definitely over 20. So, uh, you know, and when she arrived, uh, she was a girl. 
and uh, but a girl who was, you know, bright and smart and uh, and really funny and strong, all the things that I think are now evident to everyone. Their background is mostly in music videos, and uh, I think, in, which you can comfortably see on your phone. So when you're jumping to a different scale of a movie, you sort of see close-ups are different. You know, they're, they're absolutely necessary in a music video, but they have a whole other meaning in a movie. And uh, watching them adapt to that and figure that out was, was great, but they knew what they wanted to do. Jeff and Tina uh, knew very much what they wanted to do as well. And I think Renee had done the show on Broadway, so she already knew it. And I think more and more it just turned, you know, it fell into an ensemble of, of people who sort of both had grown up with the movie, had their, how they wanted to do it, and because they were the appropriate age. And so they, there was no attempt to try and go back to the way it looked or what it did, and I think Art and Sam played a big part in that. Tim was at SNL, I think, for 25 years, and he was a Sam, huge, huge fan. Yeah. And I think he, he and Tina have a real nice chemistry. Uh, which they had in the original, but now it has another kind of level to it. The dance is designed for the movie and it's designed for TikTok, so that you, you sort of feel uh, that, that that's probably how it'll be consumed and, uh, and also that's how it will spread. So I, I think it feels of the moment because dance exists on TikTok, it's copied in life. I think they'll love the cast. I think they'll like the fact that it's familiar but different. Uh, I think the singing takes it to another level. And since Renee is, is also famous as a singer, uh, it takes it, you know, you're happy to see the two merge. And she's so talented. Tina Fey wrote me an email, a lovely email, and asked if I would want to join the cast as Ms. Heron. And you know what, when Tina Fey writes you an email, you write back, yes! I mean, what a fun project. I, of course, was a huge fan of the movie when it came out, I've seen it multiple times, and so this is super exciting for me. It's funny, when they offered me the role, I thought, wow, why did they think of me for this? You know, it's been a while since I've been on camera. I wonder, why did I pop in their minds? And then I Googled and Gowrie, and I was like, oh, that's why. We look identical. She actually looks like a grown-up version of my daughter. It's, I could imagine my daughter growing up to look like her. So yeah, it's very, very similar. The first day that we were shooting together, we ended up talking about soup making and bread making. I mean, we have the same sort of off-camera interests as well. So we got along great from the beginning. And she is just a phenomenal actress. She is so real. She's so emotionally available. She's so ready every take. And it's just been an absolute dream getting to work with her. The whole cast is amazing. Like the casting has been absolutely perfect on the movie. And you know, I got to do a film a long time ago with Tim Meadows, and so this is my second film that I get to do with Tim, and he is so amazing. So there's just all of these sort of serendipitous things that came together in the casting of the movie that was just felt right. I think we can all relate to being a teenager. It's a time when you're trying to figure out who you are, and you can be easily influenced by the people around you, and anyone who exudes confidence is both attractive and terrifying. So, you know, Regina is all confidence and that is very intoxicating. And so I think we all know what it's like to be in that, that sort of adolescent time of transition. And so it becomes very relatable. I think the biggest difference is the phones and the technology and how all of that is working itself into the story. You know, this idea of you can be embarrassed by a video that's been posted, or you can go viral in both good and bad ways. Like, that wasn't part of the original. We didn't have that. And so it almost ups the stakes even more.
All junior girls report to the gymnasium immediately! Immediately! Maintenant, nous choisissons nos noms français. Katie, comment tu t'appelles? Action. And I've never told anyone because I am such a good friend! <coughs> Wait, <I'm gonna> <laughs> I mean, not just you, like any of us. Like, I was with Vance today, I just sit over there. I'm sorry, Regina. You can't sit with us. Thank you so much. Caddy, in order for this to work, you need to be a huge... And back round. And action. Right. So we never really do this, but you're invited to eat lunch with us for the rest of the week. Oh. Raise your hand if you've ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Cut. We need to get the people to move.